up from yesterday, uh, Jeremiah chapter 35. And you should have a list. Recabites. Recabites, Recabites. <laughs> the Recabites, Recabites, Recabites. Chapter 35. 35. The Recabites. Yeah, we should start with the pot of wine, but we'll start at verse 1. Where are we going to start? Yeah, 35 and 1. Okay. Uh, and, and where we left off, it wasn't just for relationship. It was, Michelle, what are five things that, that you stand for all by yourself? That's nothing to do with me. It's you and God. That ten uh, are five non-negotiable things. Yes. And that's who you are. That's who you are, no matter what continent you're on. You're right. That's who you are. Amen. And you are not, when I say non-negotiable, Kita, that means, psh, don't even discuss it. I am this in God. This is what he did for me. Yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, I'm going to show you. And, and then we'll, we'll point out something else. Because remember, I was accused. Isaac Hayes, I stand accused. I was accused of saying the same thing for 41 years. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, on that. By, 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 Thank by, you, God. By, by, by somebody homeless. <laughs> living on their parents. Oh, my God. Amen. Amen. So I hope you came tonight to hear the same thing. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Pick it up verse 1. We're going we gonna, to we gonna get through this. The word which came unto Jeremiah from the Lord in the days of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, saying, Go unto the house of the Rechabites, and speak unto them, and bring them into the house of the Lord, into one of the chambers, and give them wine to drink. So, so God, telling his man who he sent to some people that he knew who were going to reject him. So why does God do that? Because God's a just God. He gives people a chance. Yes, sir. How many of y'all have talked to people and you knew they weren't going to hear you? Oh, right. uh, keep, keep living. Not going to hear you. But God's a just God. You never can tell. What you'll learn if you stick around is you won't waste word on folk who ain't interested right. to prove nothing, okay? And that, that God has to have already plowed over their heart. And, and you're going to find out it's easier to talk to rank sinners than religious people. <laughs> if they know one Kirk Franklin song, <laughs> they know one song, don't know half, of, if you know, if they know half of scripture, <laughs> You're in for the argument of your life, okay? So, he said, I want you to talk to these people. I know they're going to reject it, but mm -hmm. I'm going to show you something. Read. Then I took Jazaniah, the son of Jeremiah, the son of Habazaniah, and his brethren, and all his sons, and the whole house of the Rechabites. And I brought them into the house of the Lord, into the chamber of the sons of Hena, the son of Ignalia, a man of God, which was by the chamber of the princes, which was above the chamber of Messiah, Messiah, the son of Shalom, the keeper of the door. Here come the pot of wine. That's what y'all was waiting on. Verse 5. And I sat before the sons of the house of the Rechabite, pots. Pots! A wine. Full of wine. Full of wine. And cups. See, 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 if you're a wine old yeah. and there was just a glass of wine, mm. you'd be mad. I rebuke that in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, but when you got pots, mm -hmm. a pot of weed. Oh. Ooh. 
That's crazy. <laughs> huh? <laughs> so they learned yesterday, Erica, you're going to be offered a plurality of things. Right. But what do you stand for? Okay. Why God got to put me around all the good looking men? Well, you ain't a lesbian, so <laughs> what's the problem? Right. All right. What the problem? Why he got to work here? He need a job. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He need a job. That's why. <laughs> Are y'all bad? <laughs> We're going to have fun tonight. That's why. Pots of men. Just everywhere. <laughs> Got your head on a swivel. <laughs> huh? Whatever is against you or whatever you uh, stand for, you're going to have to face a plural of things to test if you really are what you say you are. Mm -hmm. Underline that. Pots of wine. Okay, if the pot don't get you the cup, we'll read. <laughs> <laughs> and cups. And cups. You must have been black people. <laughs> and cups. Mm -hmm. You know why I offer uh, uh, the opposite of the pot? Well, God don't care if I just sample a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just this one time in Kansas City. Uh oh, man. Can't that, huh? just, 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 just this one time. Who uh, I know y'all went to see Charlie Wilson. Uh, my name Charlie, last name Wilson. Uh, who was Thickums that was singing? That was Fantasia. Fantasia? Cause some dude just posted. He didn't put the song. He just posted her bending over and stuff. I like. Uh, she been eating. All right. Uh, <laughs> so the cups come in case you want a sample. <laughs> Your little taste. <laughs> huh? See, they, they, those, see, the people that grab the cup always think they better than somebody who grabbed who was in the pot. <laughs> Bobbing for, you know, just, just all in there. So here, 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 here we go. The wrecking bites like uh, we different. Pots don't move us. Mm -hmm. Cups don't move us. Mm -hmm. And you didn't ask, but here's some other things we about. Ooh, man, I like people like that. Hello. Huh? huh? I'm not a desperate single woman. Amen. You know, I'm not trying to reach the top by stepping on people. Amen. They don't mean that much to me. My soul is first. Whatever God has for me, amen. Huh? There's an open door. I woke up with a Revelation 3.8 open door huh? for me. Okay? Yes. And, 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 what, and what happens uh, you can't have someone where you only adhere to a principle while they're alive. I said if Bishop Wagner came back, he would just run back to the grave. Okay. Who are you? Okay, so here the record bites. Let's get past the cups. Next. And I said unto them, drink ye wine. Drink. What you want? The pot or the cup? <laughs> See, some of y'all be like, I got my own glass. <laughs> Read. But they said, we will drink no wine. Have you ever seen people accuse folk of doing what they were doing? Yes. yes. <laughs> For sure. Wow. Okay. So he said, drink wine. Read. For Jonadab, the son of Rechab, our father, commanded us, saying, Ye shall drink no wine, neither ye, nor your sons, forever. Forever. So, we know how we in this place, but we are adhering to what our father <laughs> said. Okay? So, yesterday, stealing something from baby, I said, Put some respect on my name by not bringing it up. <laughs> but Pastor Barlow, what about your father who art in heaven? Huh? 
No, I'm not for that. Well, my church is... See, when you say that, it means I'm really for it, but my church... All right, I caught y'all already. <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm not. No, I'm not participating. Now, you ain't got to go take a text and, and you know, go get a robe or nothing. <laughs> oh, you just say, no, no, I'm not. Aren't you coming? No. Don't you want to? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm not about that. Well, is it a sin? You know, people get sarcastic when you have a stand on something. Then here come my name. But Pastor, oh man, don't want people to be rolling their eyes at high beans. I ain't studying you. Eat your donut. Leave me alone. <laughs> get your crackers. <laughs> if I'd have known that child had said, I've been saying the same thing for 41 years, I'd have told her boyfriend, you better come get her. Right. I don't know if she ever got home. Uh-huh. <laughs> Saying the same thing. But no matter what I say, what do you stand for? Mm-hmm. You know, I say a lot of stuff. You may like, oh, y'all like that, but that I ain't feeling that. And, you know, I don't even know. But uh, you know what? Do you. Hello. Do you. But now if it's sin, I mean, we all have opinion on things. But if it's sin, it catch you. Tell your relatives, I ain't got no covers. I don't preach with sheets and covers and blankets. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Tell your relatives. <laughs> With reverence, see, I already know you're in trouble. <laughs> but re- reverend, they wanted you to do it. You don't want me to do it. Not the way they died. Huh? They died with footprints on the ceiling. <laughs> huh? You, you, <laughs> you, you don't want me to do that. All right, all right, back to the Bible. No, 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 I mean... <laughs> Byron, are you and I the only one... I don't feel, when people get caught in sin, especially arrogant people, I don't feel bad. Why God, why you let that happen? Like, uh, I'd be like, God, what took you so long? Especially arrogant people. Now, you're just a rank sinner, you ignorant, you know, but, but when you're arrogant in it and you make fun of everybody who's walking with God, you think it's such a joke to be kept, you think everything in church is funny, you think everything in Ark of the Covenant is funny. When you get clipped, mm, uh-oh. I don't feel sorry for you, milk carton. You should have looked at the expiration date. But since you didn't, you don't know, pays to walk with God. Amen. Mm-hmm. And that goes for my family. I'm giving y'all, y'all say, some of y'all got by two, you got your church view and you got your family view. One day you're going to get one view. Amen. Okay? You, you making fun of how I live. And you get clipped in your life, it is what it is. Oh, boy. But maybe they made it. Come on now, they died with a... (laughs) Feet on the ceiling. Why why is it always when it's somebody you know, maybe they made it? Uh We don't know. You know, they were running out of Kroger's with a ham. (laughs) Okay, with a ham. <laughs> huh? The police said, put them up. And they went, we got you. And, and, come on now. <laughs> they were driving 135 in a stolen car. You wonder, did they make it? <laughs> huh? They robbed their local Popeyes. <laughs> Somebody said, Pookie, ain't that you? Huh? And they died with a water gun. And the policeman pulled out a real gun. I wonder, did they make it? Oh, not just sinner, religious people. The preacher, Keith, had a girlfriend in Paris, a place I frequent every year. All right? I come back with clothes. I don't come back with girlfriend. All right? He went over there, went to some strip club, boop, boop. Big church in the city. She figured like, oh, okay. Found a whole boy, man, look. He should have known. It's the internet now. Somebody can look you up. <laughs> she seen old boy. Oh, okay. You got to call for some money. Yeah. Now, only he died, people, 
with traces of cocaine and everything else and preachers who y'all love and bought their book said, I wonder, did God see the real Zach? God only saw one Zach. That's that one laying in that floor. Uh -huh. Okay, let's, let's go there, man. Let's, we have, we, we, we're just going to have that night. I said Eddie Long was a good guy, right? That I met him, all right, before all this stuff came out. But what about those victims? Mm -hmm. Amen. Creflo, really? Was he a man who we weren't worthy of? Really? Right. I don't play with these people. I ain't no groupie. Huh? So somebody come in and molest your son? She has two boys. They come in. She don't bring them to church. She's a single mother. You don't come to church to be screwed, molested, made over. What do you mean? I'm trusted with an exorbitant amount of beauty in this church. I'm trusted with lifestyle and, 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 and feelings. And Families yes. and marriages. Amen. 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 You don't come to church to be messed over. Right. Okay. Huh. You better off buying Dr. Seuss. I'm reading that stuff, people are crazy. Right? There's accountability for me, you. Your family member, everybody. Oh, all right. It's, wow. On Wednesday night? Okay. Read. Let's go back to the record bite so y'all can say amen. Read. Neither shall ye build a house. Uh oh. See, the record bite's like, you didn't ask us, but we're going to tell you there's some other things we don't participate in. Because we have a standard that our Father instilled in us. Okay? Well, what do, you, what do you see in the Omaha World Herald? Somebody just, uh, just, just illegal. Well, he was going to go back to school. He was getting his life together. And he was, you know, it's never what he, and that's why that child died. Hmm? That's why that child died, because nobody held him accountable. Right? The record bites are different. No, 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 no. No, we don't participate in this. Uh, the beauty, the reason why, you know, you know, my, 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 my sister really wants me to come for her doctor, but, but I'll, be, I, I'll be somewhere in, out of the country, Lord willing. But, but do you really think we'd all be flying for Nandi's graduation if she was in D.C. clowning? Right. right, no way. We go in there because thank God she survived. Amen. Huh? And with a standard, her, her, her mother one of the best saints here. Huh? She showed appreciation. Amen. Huh? She cut her own cousins off. Amen. Amen. She almost got caught up. But if almost disqualified, we wouldn't have no church. Amen. Who in here? Oh. Amen. Amen. Yeah, that's why we going down there. Amen. Because she went out of town. And didn't let Satan make a fool out of her. Yeah. Oh. With no oversight. Right. Oh. Oh. Back to the record bites. Y'all strain it. Uh, the record bites say we don't. Well, it's a whole list. So, I had, so yesterday, I named five things that have nothing to do with me. It's in you. Okay. This is what you about. Period. And it took, I'll show you scripture, and it took time. Some of y'all honest. You didn't come in here with five things you stood for. That's right. right. That's come on now. Some of you are smorgasbord. boy. Man, your man, you didn't come in here with a standard. You got to thank God for the word, and it took years. Amen. I'll show you a scripture what it took. To come in the house of God and now stand for something by yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's why uh, uh, we have the freedom to travel. I trust you. Oh. I tell you, Linda ain't booed up with nobody. Linda wanted to be gone. She would have went with that rich man. He's so crazy about her. Yeah. I'm glad he didn't like some of y'all. Y'all all oh, might. Well, you know, the Lord said. <laughs> <laughs> the 
You would have got a revelation beyond revelations. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Ain't got her hand out either with her son's tuition, 68000 No. Oh. Only thing he did was show us around the Louvre or Louvre, however you want to pronounce it. And he went on back to eating other people's food. That's what he was doing. All right. <laughs> Read back to we, back to the words so you can get happier. I said, "What else? So we don't we don't build houses. We don't sow seed. What else, May? Nor plant vineyard. Uh huh. Nor have any. But all your days ye you shall dwell in tents, that ye may live many days in the land where ye be strangers." Okay. So we 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 don't we do not as Rechabites let the outside. Cause us to dilute our standards. Amen. We're about longevity. There's a reason why certain families, everybody graduates from Creighton. Everybody. I mean, my, my, my uh, pediatrician in Indianapolis, this house they live in, matter of fact, it was on Kessler Boulevard. These houses, first of all, you, gotta, you need a strong arm to throw a rock essence and hit the front door. You know, ain't no three steps and you in the neighbor's yard, you know. You, you, you got you to have a good arm. <laughs> and so, this is back in the 60s. Courtney, so I somehow they got in a conversation. He told, I was just a child, but he told my mother, no, that house was given to us. This is back in the 60s. This is a mansion, people. Given. Because people, there are people, they have family dinners. They have structure. You, you have to really be a knucklehead to fail. Why can't we do that in the house of God? Matter of fact, this morning, when I went to take Zoe to school, my son said, there's a young man who's coming to this church, used to run with this group, uh, uh, was tied up. This young man, he escaped. He has designed a watch. Worked on it for two years. A young man used to kick it with people. He designed a watch with a unique bezel. And, and I said, you got to be kidding. So I hit him up. Man, I'm so proud of you. I'm so glad you chose not to die on Sorensen Parkway. I said, you need to get that design patented. Amen. Everything. Man. I said, you need to go to Geneva, which is the white capital of the world, and go ahead and blow up. God bless you, young man. How that you made a choice and, to leave knuckleheads alone. Right. Uh, but but so so it's I was excited because that took a lot for him. Amen. He gave me mad respect. I said, don't put on Facebook because you always got some hater. Because he escaped. And I said, man, but you need, yo, this is, this is great price point. Man, you going somewhere with this. But he's on an island by himself. Okay? Only time family want to jump up is after you've made it. Right. Mm. Okay. That's right. Come on. Until then, a lot of most times they make it very hard for you to even get there. You have to have your mind made up. I'm not gonna live that way. And, and get excited about the same sins everybody done committed. Make fun of you, you care. But if you have a baby out of wedlock, oh, they look like so. well, who, which one was you with when he who oh they just make over. But you trying to be kept, you got all kind of names you getting called. Isn't that crazy? Crazy. Right. You want to get married? What you want to do that for? Because I don't want to sit and watch my children try to figure out who their daddy is and be disappointed and go to school bitter and angry and ride up and down the street trying to kill somebody else's child who lived the same way. Talk to me tonight. Man. That's why I'm getting married. Man. That's why for structure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. If anything, they want to offer you things. You might want to try it. Uh, go out, you need to go out there and sow your oats. Are you a cow? Yeah. <laughs> well, holiness <coughs> is laughed upon. Religion is applauded, which means you go to church, but you do what you want to do. But holiness... Mm. Oh, it don't take all that. Okay? 
That's why I ask you, write, write down five things that have nothing to do with me. That's who you are. Amen. And if anybody talk to you long enough, they try to find out who you are. All right? Okay. Read. This is a repeat. Remember, I say the same thing for 41 years, so I can repeat from Tuesday. Matter of fact, I can, let me give you scripture for that. Uh, Isaiah chapter 28. How'd you learn how to wash or wipe your behind? Somebody kept telling you. <laughs> uh, right. Why aren't your teeth orange? Because somebody te kept telling you to brush them. Okay? Isaiah 28. Let's see what the word say about that. Some stuff has to be repeated over and over to get out of your gums. And even then it's tested. Ah, uh, let's see. Uh, Isaiah chapter 28. First verse? No, they're they not ready for that tonight. They... Yeah. yeah we got I gotta get out of their way. Uh let's pick it up. Oh, I might be an alcoholic in here. Let's pick up verse seven. I ca I catch somebody while I'm trying to find my scripture. <laughs> verse seven. But they also have erred through wine and through strong drink. Get in between having a dinner wine a dinner wine and chugging. <laughs> There's a big difference. Okay? As my windows get into the word. Read. And through and nobody has scotch with a with a meal. No. No. Scotch. Come on now. Come on now. And you're not Puerto Rican. Leave the rum alone. I cook with it. Why, why aren't we seeing cooking bottles in? <laughs> huh? You want to get high? Pay Sears off. <laughs> the joy alone will elevate you. <laughs> that wasn't even funny. Read, 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 read. But they also have aired through wine and through strong drink are out of the way. <laughs> The priest and the prophet. Look at that, both of them drinking. Read. <laughs> have erred through strong drink. They are swallowed. How would you feel? Sierra, miss, you come off. I'm going to talk to the bishop. Hi, you, Sierra? <laughs> Sierra, miss. <laughs> uh, you, don't want, you, don't, you don't want the pastor drunk. No, sir. You don't want your doctor drunk. Mm -mm. Really? Huh? Here, the, here in the Bible, here the prophet and the priest, they lit. Read. <laughs> For all the, uh, no, the priests or the prophet have erred through strong drink. They are swallowed up of wine. <laughs> they are out of the way through strong drink. They're they drinking tough. Read. They err in vision. They can't see. They stumble in judgment. For all tables are full of vomit. They've been throwing up, people. Buick. Read. And filthiness, so that there is no place clean. Read. Who shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. Look at verse 10. This is what happens. This is what happens. Uh, what, what has to happen. So things stick to your spiritual ribs. I could not afford to say one thing one time. Amen. For precept must be upon precept. Precept upon precept. Look at that. Line upon line. Yes. Line upon line. Look at them doubling up. Amen. Huh? Here a little 
and they're a little. Amen. That's why you're the great woman of God. That's why you're the great man of God. That's why you're the great family man. That's why, huh? You put a distance between your past life and your new life. It took time. Somebody give God some thanks. Amen. It was the word that made you. Yes, Lord. Yes, it was. You was in too deep for one message. One Bible class. You was in too deep. Amen. You were born in a yeah, deep. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Some of these families are crazy, incestuous, pedophile, just, just right sinner, anger, bitterness, murder. Amen. And God delivered you with a word. Amen. And he gave you time to get yourself together. You all got some praise. Amen. When you look in the mirror. Yes, you a testimony. My norm has changed. What I used to amen settle for, I don't settle for. When I look in the mirror, I see somebody different. Uh, I'm not at uh, Home Depot alone. I'm not a doormat. You can't walk over me. I don't have no little self-esteem. I love my smack. Lord have mercy. Thank you. Thank you. Come on now. A word did that. You mean I only have a handful of folk that appreciate what God has done for them over time? Remember how you walked in here? Remember how lame you were? Remember how your heart was broke? Remember the scar tissue? Remember? Easy pickings. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. But God, I said, but God, precept upon precept, precept upon precept. Some stuff it took years to get out of your system. Every now and then it cropped back up. Who in here want to tell the truth today? Every now and then, Satan ain't convinced. He ain't saying. He said, none of us are what we. in here knee deep in porn everything in her life was pornographic woke up watching it go to bed watching it smoking weed every day your hair smell like weed your blue jeans smell like weed liquored up amen just full of mess But you woke up this morning, a woman of God, a man of God, a husband, a provider, an entrepreneur, got some money in the bank, been traveling, garage full of whips, oh, somebody old oh, got some pray. you looking at things different, you even look different, oh, Lord, have mercy, somebody came tonight, amen, not out of ritual, but out of praise and adoration for what God has done. Look at my entrepreneur, Tisha. She didn't come in here with no scarf design. She came in here angry, watching main man people fighting, even to the point she had to fight a family member at a picnic. But look at her with her scars. Look at her model, amen. Look at what God has done. You are beyond two faces. When you let somebody put their mouth on the house that turns your life around, amen. You are beyond two faces. Shut your mouth. When I was in sin, you didn't have nothing to say, amen. You ain't up and when I turn around, all of a sudden you got so much to say. Well, Satan, I rebuke you. Man, I, hey, hey, trust me, I'm cut different. You don't feel my ministry? Stay out of my house. Stay out of my car. Hey, Amen. Ain't no use you laying back in what you don't enjoy. 
that go for every family member and those who claim to be a family member. Don't play all that. Huh? You got a problem with it? It's a, a holiday, that's what Holiday Inn Express is for. Don't come in here frowning. You'll have me tipping around what I, Lord, what I believe God for. Amen. You play people like that. <laughs> Ask any family member. Amen. Amen. <laughs> but, but then again, this cost me something. My life. <laughs> wow. So look at verse 11 since we covered that. It's a, now you need a Holy Ghost. <laughs> for with stammering lips. For, for with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to this Notice people. it didn't stop his stammering lips. Me, you, you, you got, you full of unbelief. Mm -hmm. yeah. Open your eyes and listen to yourself. <laughs> and believe God, okay? But stem, let's read that again. That's, that's a powerful scripture. For People laughing at your Holy Ghost. They, did they remember you before you had the Holy Ghost? Mm -hmm. Definitely. You kept an axe in your drawers, you know something? You know how to cut people? Yeah. <laughs> that's also some your, your testimony. That's somebody back there praising God? Uh, in the bathroom? In a, in a, ain't that something? And y'all down front, y'all waiting for me to finish. And somebody like, man, I remember how I came in here. That's right. Huh? That means anointing is all in the back. Amen. Now, what, what skipped up? <laughs> but, but no, real talk. That's how people get clipped. They forget. They forget how they walk in the house of God. That's right. They forget how Satan used them. Right. They forget how Satan tried to strip them of everything. Come on. Huh? So even at an expensive restaurant, Zuri, JL comes in there, amen. We ain't worried about the meal. We had, both of us had money. We're gonna take care of the meal. He said, I woke up with tears in my eyes. I'm just thankful. Look at me. Right, right. Huh? I ain't no girlfriend. I got three beautiful children by the same man. Yes. We out of here. I just wanna thank you. Yes, Lord. Yes. That's something to be thankful for. Yes, it is. Those are the only people going to last. Go on, baby. Amen. <laughs> I remember how I walked in here. Yes. I remember when I had no strength. Come on, come on now. To turn stuff down. Yes. I remember telling myself, no, I ain't going to do it. End up doing it, huh? Uh, come and talk to me, people. Amen. Anybody remember that? Right, right. Yes. Yes. Lord have mercy. It took time. Then, then you get special people. God sent me to North High School for Courtney. Courtney. Hmm. Courtney is what I have left. Huh? Even when she made a mistake, she came back to the house of God right. and could start all over again. Amen. Right. Right. And, 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 and owned it. Yes. 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 So y'all like fake church. Yes. There are people that say, yeah, I messed up. Some people mess up and tell nobody. Other mess up here, but you know what? Right. I don't even think enough of you to stay home. I'm going to come back to a place. Amen. Oh, thank you, God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, God. Oh, bless your name. Just, 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 just having a good memory. Yes, Lord. There were 10 lepers. Yes. Huh? Uh, well, how many came back? One. And, and God, he, he like, oh, it don't matter. He said, where the nine at? <laughs> yes. Anytime God know what he did for you and you don't acknowledge, uh -oh. you got a problem. You got a big I know problem. some folks, man, I'm all, you know, I, I, look yeah. at, I ain't on Facebook like some people because, you right. know, I ain't saying they do. But I... I <laughs> Uh, Cammy is talking about somebody who saw him. I won't call their name. Said they were so happy to see him. Mm -hmm. And I said, Cam, I know it was genuine too. He said, Man, Dad, it was really genuine. I said, Yeah, you know, you know what flipped them off? I said that thing could have been dealt with in five minutes. 
but they didn't have the strength to deal with that crazy companion. And they have suffered. Right. They didn't have, that's why I like priests who are st not overbearing, but a priest has to be strong. Yes. Okay. And then he has to be a priest so you look up to him. Right. So when he make a decision, you ain't. <laughs> And then you got to have enough God. That's why, you know, me and Linda had this conversation. You know, some of y'all, it's not beyond y'all to be blessed before summertime. Amen. I'm, I don't just say that. I, you know, this, ain't no, this, ain't no, this ain't psych class. Huh? But what you going to do when he make you mad? Is he going to be a priest or you gonna, or are you going to run him? Well, if you're going to run him, you might as well stay single. I'm talking about a real priest. I ain't talking about no, no, you know, no. I'm talking about a for real Tim Wilson. Let's try that angle. All right. Amen. Amen. This say was perfect, but you don't want to run him. Right. right. Oh, all right. Okay. All right. okay. This is why I made you write down five things so you can lie. <laughs> Amen. You, you want you want to you want to talk to Lisa and ask her. How it feels to be married to somebody, not cussing her out, not hitting on her, crazy about her. Right. As opposed to what she had. <laughs> That's why you got to get that thug thing out of you. Somebody don't slap you, cuss you out, cheat on you, you don't feel love. Amen. Somebody thank God for holiness. I ain't put, and, and I hope you wrote that I ain't never putting up with that again in life. Okay. Hmm. For with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to his people. Dag, why are we in this chapter? You know, I'm about ready to finish up. Just keep reading. <laughs> to whom he said, this is the rest wherewith ye may cause the weary to, to rest. Didn't I see Shaquita walk in here? Yeah. Where's Shaquita? I can't drop. Shaquita. This is what I'm talking about. You know, Shaquita has a degree from University of Illinois. She's a real executive. Yeah. She got a nasty, without telling her business, she got a six-figure pay increase. <laughs> uh, okay. So, so. Hallelujah. So. Yes, yes. You are my favorite people. I know sometimes you can't take me, but I'm good. Um, Shaquita was uh, in Illinois working for some company or Indianapolis. She would hit me up like, you know, she could fit in. She has that presentation, you know. She throw her outfit on high heels. She's she like, this place don't deal with nothing. And I miss home. Like, I, I, I want somebody pinning me. This, 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 right. yeah. this, this is this, what they doing. Mm -hmm. Tipping around, you know, I don't want to say nothing because, you know, you, you might quit giving. So, so Shaquita's different. She come home, she go anywhere, right? She comes back here and gets this crazy promotion. Just, just made my day. Do you know what she did? So I'm talking to Tamika and I'm like, okay, you and Jeff got to hook up. He can't, you know. I got kids here, so I won't go in detail. But anyway, y'all need to get together. She said, Shaquita, I said, we're going to help you get there because this is, you know, we admire a man of God who will sacrifice his family to this way I get back on track because my job in the military did not parlay into a good job on the outside. She said, Shaquita, pay for it already. Oh, my Lord. No, no, that, that was yesterday. I'm like, oh. she said, it's already paid for it. I said, oh. he said, Shaquita. Oh. So, 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 so watch this, Roman. So now we got a, another level of member. Not only did I not forget, but I'm going to show God, amen. God, if you bless me, I'm going to bless somebody else, amen. I ain't going to never forget what... When you come to church to be a blesser instead of receiving a blessing, you well on your way to some crazy money crazies. Hallelujah. 
I told my son, and remember, I didn't coach him. He grown. Told me he was looking for somebody else to bless. That man, as a parent, Mary, I can't tell you how that feel. Right. I didn't call. I, me, me and Robbie just got back from Switzerland, right. <laughs> and I got the text. <laughs> but if you watch your daddy bless people, right, right, come on. I told him I said, "Look, dude, that's how I live, people. You know, that's, I don't care. You, you name all your raggedy preachers. I'm still gonna find somebody living right." Right. Amen. I'm gonna find somebody living right and bless them. Amen. Amen. Uh, give Shaquita a hand, y'all. That 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 that. Oh, yeah. You know, you know, Brand Brandy, Brandy, and and, and Angelie, y'all yeah, pray for me, cause this family is so prosperous and loving and enjoying one another and building one another. I may have, may have to have new people fill out application. <laughs> I, I don't want to get in trouble with God. <laughs> this is a nine-page application, fingerprint you, index finger, okay. And, and you know what? It is what it is. But you ought to be glad we got Discord source up out of here. <laughs> Amen. You ought to be glad. Ain't nobody going and looking at your picture. You taking the booth and picking it apart. Eh? Amen. Amen. Oh, some of y'all just lied. I miss them. I don't. <laughs> Read. <laughs> And this is the refreshing yet they would not hear. Read. But the, the word of the Lord was unto them precept upon precept. Oh, it, again? Again. Precept upon precept. Precept upon precept. Line upon line. Line upon line. <laughs> Here a little and there a little. That they might go and fall backward and be broken and snared and taken. My Lord. Read. Wherefore? Hear the word of the Lord, ye scornful men that rule this people which is in Jerusalem. See, see, uh, see he prayed it again because it said, yet they wouldn't hear. Mm -hmm. He kept breaking it off, breaking it off. Break, that's, see, that's the power of human will. Where no matter what I say, you're going to do uh, what crosses your mind. And then, okay, okay, cool, do you. Then you surprise when... <laughs> The bottom fall out. Now you want us to pray. Well, we live it right. Why can't we pray for something for us? <laughs> now I gotta go in prayer. Huh? <laughs> How you ask me for a ride after you said I said the same thing 40 something years? And now you need a ride. <laughs> huh? Do you understand? And I'm glad that you're right. I think you got home. I don't know. I didn't ask. But 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 the car. If you would have got in that car, that would have been the car that I got for saying the same thing for thirty some years. No That's way. how I got that car. No way. Okay. Right. And guess what, people? I don't care who you talk to. You're not responsible for people who don't hear you. Right. You sure are. You are not responsible. No, sir. It may hurt you, I don't care who it is, but you are not responsible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, you're only you're responsible, Oracle, is if God told you to tell them and you didn't you tell them. Right. Now you're in trouble. But if you told them, mm -hmm. huh? And you told your family, and that's why God saved you so you could, amen, intervene and come and, and yeah. come on. Thank and you. then they don't hear you. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Don't get mad at God. Don't leave God. Right. Oh, come on, I'm gonna say it again. Don't leave God. Don't leave God. Yes, huh? You can say, you know what, Lord? I told them the truth. And when they got up, when they got healed, they still wouldn't come to the sanctuary. They went on and went back. It's not your fault. No, sir. Yeah. And that word I just spoke ain't never gonna get stale. Verse 15. Because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death. This is terrible, man. See, that's why we could, uh, uh, that precept upon precept, and that line upon line, and right. that's just the same thing. And I've outgrown that. You ain't even grown. Why would you outgrow? Right. Mm. You got to get away from me because I'm going to tell you, you got you to gotta love the other kids that man have. <laughs> oh. don't, don't ever let me, if I get on meth or crack, <laughs> Take a pick, meth or crack. Like get on either one of them. 
I'm going to tell it all. I'm going to be like Cat Williams. I ain't going to have my hair. I'm going to look just like Cat Williams. My hair ain't going to be right. You're going to know I ain't in the wheel no more. <laughs> my hair won't be laying down. My hair's going to be just like Cat. Cat look like he just woke up every day. <laughs> huh? Hey, Amen. That's why. So you can love your kids and reject his other kids. What kind of man lets you separate him from his kids? You, but you, but you, you know, here, here's, the, here's the facade. But you want to teach me how to be intimate with God. <laughs> Whoa, what a facade. <laughs> but here's some kids who don't get their dad. Because who you married to don't want that because they're not our kids. Wow, people. Hmm? Hmm. Read the scripture real quick before I say something. Verse 15. Because you have said we have made a covenant with death. Covenant with death. And with hell are we at agreement. Then talk to hell and got a contract. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. For we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. Invincible. Mm -hmm. People feel invincible. I went to the library, Mother Mary said, and I was reading about all these individuals back in the 50s who uh, are very interesting cases. Uh, the death of Marilyn Monroe, and she was messing with Robert Kennedy and Jack Kennedy because they wanted to get close to, they got introduced by Frank Sinatra and the Rat Pack. And, Dean Martin and Peter and Lawford, these people thought they were invincible. And that alliance, because John Kenny ended up messing with Judith Exner, who was the girlfriend of a mafia boss. And I mean, that stuff is, but, the, but the point is, so here, here the Kenny family, one, one got killed skiing, hit a tree. Right. You know, you see all this stuff, but they did so much dirt, you know what I mean? And, yeah. and, and they made sure when she died that they got Robert Kennedy out of there because, you know, mm -hmm. John Kennedy was through with her, you know. And she said, y'all just use a piece of meat. So she like, she, I'm going for broke. No, you ain't either. You ain't messing this up. And then Peter Lawford, man, he, he just, just, people just ranked and just, there's no boundary, there's no God, there's no stopping up. And guess what they all had in common? They all died. <laughs> Ain't, no, ain't nobody hanging tough in sin. Huh? Amen. Ain't nobody hanging tough. The Bible is still king. Amen. The word is still true. Amen. Ain't nobody hanging tough. They all ran out of time. Yeah. And it was interesting because back then they were rolling. They felt invincible. John Gotti, John Gotti, he didn't just die right away. Cass ate his tongue up. Just, yeah. and you need to read about these people. Amen. So when you have any kind of mind fight, and, and, and oh, it's boring, and, and my life would be, well, you should, it's the best life you ever had in your life. Amen. The days are good. Amen. Okay. Amen. I ain't trying to get out there. I ain't. I'm scared of cooties anyway. Good gracious. Read. That's just a little extra. Read verse 15. 15 again. Because you have said, we have made a covenant with death, and with hell are we at agreement, when the overflowing scourge shall pass through it, it shall not come unto us, for we have made lies our refuge. Made lies our refuge. Hide behind a lie. Read. And under falsehood have we hid ourselves. Therefore, thus said the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. Is that a powerful scripture? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 
That's what woke you up this morning. That's why you're in your right mind. That's why, amen, you are sitting here marinating in favor. Doors opening and no man can close. Oh, my goodness, huh? That precious cornerstone, sure foundation. The best is yet to come. Got something to, amen, look forward to when you get up. Got a God at your disposal. Can talk to him at one in the morning. They'll never catch his answer machine. Voicemail. He'll talk to you, comfort you, guide you, direct you. Somebody owe him some praise. If you drove by a hospital that you tell God thank you. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Angelique, every time I see a male man, <laughs> I, rem I remember that pit bull chasing me. <laughs> and I had my pepper spray. I know Elo gonna laugh. Get your laugh out, Elo. She already came hold it in. <laughs> Pitbull chased me and I had my pepper spray but I didn't see the wind switch <laughs> now my son laughing they go to family support so that's, that's what people want their family at their church <laughs> so I sprayed and the wind shifted Oh no. Now, now y'all laughing. Oh no. Huh? Dave laughing. Even Dave laughing. And, and, and it got in my eye and I just, yes. I had to struggle. <laughs> then my wife laughed. Now I knew you was going to laugh. <laughs> I, so every time I see a male man, I be like, thank you, Jesus. Yes, I know that's right. Huh? I seen, I seen the guy had the mail letter off, and, and the girl looked, man, I didn't know they looked so bad at the post office now. She looked, looked like she didn't wash, looked like she just got up, just slapped on whatever she could put on. And she was emptying the, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the box. She just emptied it. And I'm like, all right, I hope I'm in time. I'm all cheerful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all cheerful. Hope. Hey, did I make it in time? She, she looked at me all evil. <laughs> Grabbed my letter and, and, and then I looked at her like, oh, well, yeah, you look like you. You act like you look, so you look bad, so you act bad. Uh, I'm like, thank you, Jesus. It's sunshine. I'm riding down the street. And there she is, basically with some past some draws, something she just covered up in. And she mad at the world. <laughs> Amen. Every time I see a post man postman I'd be like thank you Jesus then the man would come and read to see when the garage door open he just lose it he like <laughs> I used to be one of you guy <laughs> you you were a, a bailman yes what station oh the aim station <laughs> Tally ho! <laughs> no, it, it would eat him up. Huh? So we see some correspondent from Uncle Sam, he get the grin. And like, look, dude, 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 you be back here at the same time delivering my mail. This ain't got nothing to do with you. I wouldn't be getting no correspondence if I was a mailman. <laughs> so I thank God. Amen. Amen. That was a faith move. Mm -hmm. Now, Ra Raphael's cruel. Raphael think everybody should do it the way I did. I said, Raphael, no, 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 no. Raphael said, no, no. <laughs> 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 you jumped out there without a bridge. And you are my example. No, Raphael, 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 back up, back up. <laughs> Find reverse. That car got reversed. <laughs> no, he's like, no, no, no. Yeah, look, look, look at where you are today. I'm in Geneva with you. Well, see. <laughs> said Rafa everybody ain't got it like that okay they ain't got it they don't have it I had a discussion with my son some people I don't care what I teach you can't pull that faith just can't pull it fear but somebody else somebody else the reason why they praise God they conquered their fears um, their fears
Oh, I do. I did cool stuff. Like, I, like, I, I, I took Linda and uh, Darnetta, because Darnetta graduated from law school. So I took them to Montreal, because I had a condo there, and I left them. Right? Don't, don't shake your head. I'm a good guy. <laughs> we, 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 were on, we were on Rue Catherine. Right. They thought I was going to walk them back to their home. Man, got to be a kid. And I said, hey, you know what? Go straight down that street. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Go straight down that street. Yeah. And, and you, you got, you'll run right into it. It's a long way away, right. too. Yep. Just keep walking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I left them. Yeah. We got in the cab, went on to my island, all right? You know what I'm saying? Huh? And, and, and then it took me years to, you got to go to Paris, go to Paris. Man, that child has mastered Paris. The system, it man, ain't nowhere. And she said, there's nowhere in Paris she can't go. That's right. Huh? Now, I'm talking she got a neighborhood like me. I said, I ain't got a neighborhood because I've been there. Now, she got a neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a neighborhood I told her not to go to. Right. <laughs> She just had to go to the neighborhood. I told her not red to go light to. Red light district. I'm talking about those are my peeps. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, gotta be the red light district? Well, that's just the way. To, and then we'll put it on the Lord. No, I told you not to go to that area. But my point is, the the to conquer your fears. Yeah. What's that worth tonight? Yes. What's that worth? Amen, huh? Every to have victory over your fears. Amen. 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 Some people, man, they just I don't care what, you know. I can tell you four years in advance where we're going. You ain't going to have no money. <laughs> four years in advance. Don't speak that. Don't speak that. I don't receive that. I say, you, you know, 2021. The same. We going on Sprague. <laughs> we going on Sprague. We, we, going, we, going, we going to find their park. She said what country? On 2021. Something happened. Something gonna happen. <laughs> huh? <laughs> you, have to, you, have to, you have to you have to conquer your fears. Yeah. You cannot blame God. Amen. amen. He did not bring you over in this life for you to, amen, say this life was less than the life you came out of. Amen. This is your amen. best life. Amen. You don't have no covenant with death or hell. Who in here, all right, because who in here, well, you know, you don't care about somebody telling you that you're full of yourself. Who in here can claim, can lay claim to the fact you look better now than you did when you were out there? Yes, sir. Well, if you toe up, you just toe up. I just can't. <laughs> From the floor. My fault. <laughs> you understand? I mean, I'm trying to, trying to, trying to hype you up, and you like, well, okay. <laughs> Let's go back to the word. Our verse 18. <laughs> and your covenant with death shall be disannulled, and your agreement with hell shall not stand, when the overflowing scourge <laughs> shall pass through. Then ye shall be trodden down by it. From the time that it goeth forth, it shall take you from morning by morning. Shall it pass over day by day and by night, and it shall be a vexation only to understand the report. Just go, and in case you try to run and jump in a bed, verse 20. For the bed is shorter <laughs> than that a man can stretch himself on it <laughs> so then, you didn't got in a little bitty bed <laughs> all your sins hanging over you see somebody don't fit a bed <laughs> y'all still want that? y'all still y'all still want that bed y'all sure I heard y'all ain't got no money I heard that y'all ain't got no money y'all still want it cause somebody wants the bed alright y'all ain't got no money Tomorrow? All right. Because y'all too big to be in a little bed, y'all. <laughs> look, 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 look. These are my kids, so they can take it. Yeah, see, something I wouldn't dare tell you that. I just think it. <laughs> y'all got to get out of that little bitty bed. Y'all some giants. <laughs> what do y'all do? Take turns? 
See why everybody can't be close to me? <laughs> they gonna get a win? Tomorrow? Are you a prophetess? <laughs> yeah, they turn sleeping. <laughs> Good gracious! <laughs> okay, it's your, it's your turn. <laughs> no, no, it's thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> that one, that bitch y'all here for little people. <laughs> y'all won't be able to sleep after tomorrow. Too much room, it'll be a draft. <laughs> Reverse. <laughs> for the bed is shorter than that a man can stretch himself on it. And the covering narrower. That's a, that's a rhema word scripture. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get that bed out of my house, man. It's, it's, it's messing up my decor. <laughs> and y'all need it bad. Read verse 20. Again, because I like. For the bed is shorter than that a man can stretch himself on it, <laughs> and the covering narrower than that he can wrap himself so in it. <laughs> Some narrow sheets. Can you see some twin sheets trying to cover up two giants? Looking like a mini skirt. <laughs> Ooh, re, re. For the Lord shall rise up as in Mount Perizim. He shall be rough as and in man, the... And listen to too short. <laughs> Man. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's lovey dovey. Y'all ain't got no choice but to get along in that bed. Read. <laughs> oh, man. Here we read 21. So I play a little music for y'all. Y'all lighten the load. Read 21, 22. For the Lord shall rise up as in Mount Perizim, he shall be wroth as in the valley of Gibeon. That he may do his work, his strange work, and bring to pass his act, his strange act. Now, therefore, be ye not mockers. Be ye not mockers. Read. Lest your bands be made strong. For I have heard from the Lord God of hosts a consumption even determined upon the whole earth. Go back to Jeremiah 35. We'll end this. Talking about the Rechabites who refused to compromise what their father had taught them. And God told Jeremiah, Look at them. Verse 8 Thus have we obeyed the voice of Jonadab, the son of Rechab, our father, in all that he had charged us to drink no wine all of our days. Look at the standard for the family. We our wives, our sons, nor our daughters, nor to build houses for us to dwell in, neither have we vineyard, nor field, nor seed, but we have dwelt in tents and have obeyed and done according to all that Jonadab, our father, commanded us. But it came to pass when Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came up into so, the land. I'm going to finish up. So drop down to look at what? Look at verse 16. He basically is telling him, look at the record bites. And yet, here are these people. Their father's dead. And they still adhering to the principles he put in them. And here are these people I sent you to can't hear me. Look at verse 16. Because the sons of Jonadab the son of Rechab, have performed the commandment of their father, which he commanded them, but this people hath not hearkened unto me. Therefore, thus said the Lord God of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will bring upon Judah and upon all the inhabitants of Jerusalem all the evil that I have pronounced against them, because I have spoken unto them, but they have not heard, and I have called unto them, 
but they have not answered. That's some, that's some Proverbs 1 near the end. Okay, so now you're going to see the, the Rechabic covenant. Read. And Jeremiah said unto the house of the Rechabites, Thus said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, because you have obeyed the commandment of Jonadab your father and kept all his precepts and done according unto all that he hath commanded you. Therefore, thus said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Jonadab, the son of Rechab, shall not want a man to stand before me ever. Let me ever. interpret that. Because of that, you'll always have someone in your family in my presence. Amen. Uh, what would that be worth tonight? Everything. Huh? You. you can't even you can't even uh, measure what that's worth. Yes. Because of that, you'll always have somebody from your family in my pre Do you know about the presence of the Lord? Yes. Fullness of joy. Yes. Somebody with your petitions in your family. Mm -hmm. That's why you don't come from a, a long line of rank sinners. Ain't nobody in God's presence. Huh? Amen. Amen. But, but to have somebody in his presence that it, that that can intervene right. and pronounce healing on you if you sick and blessing on you and favor and doors open up. Ah.